Now it's time to install the NXT programming environment on your computer. Just like you need to have a word processor like Microsoft Word or Pages installed on your computer before you can write an essay, you need to have the LEGO Mindstorms NXT programming environment installed on your computer before you can write programs for your robot. If you bought the educational version of the kit, you will have had to have bought the software separately from the kit. You can either buy one copy of the software for each computer you're going to be installing it on, or you can buy a site license that allows you to install the software on multiple computers at your school. The software comes in a trifold holder like this. It contains three disks. One of them has the software to install on a PC, another for a Mac, and the third disk contains the user guide. If you have a standalone computer or a laptop, the installation is pretty straightforward. Just insert the appropriate disk into your machine and follow the on-screen instructions. Of course, many schools place restrictions on who can install software on school machines, so you may need to ask your school's IT person to install the software for you. If you do have any problems installing the software, LEGO Education Support should be able to help you. If you don't have a contact number handy, you can find the local contact number for your country by searching for LEGO Education Support. If you have the commercial kit, do a search for Mindstorm's technical support. We've also included links for LEGO education and commercial customer support in the USA on the resources page, which you can find up above the screen somewhere. One additional point worth noting, the software expects that your screen will be a certain minimum size. Most laptops and desktop machines have plenty of room, but if you have a really small netbook, you may find you have some problems using the software. Our resources page has more information on how to set the system up to work on a netbook. Before you start the next lesson, you'll need to make sure that first, you have a computer with the software installed on it, second, you've built your robot, and finally, if you did install your NXT's battery pack, that you've charged it up. Otherwise, put some fresh batteries into your NXT.